you're watching an episode of Shiftcast. You can catch the full episode on our YouTube channel or on Spotify. Let's get right into it. Right, let's talk about my domain. Let's actually talk about Rocket League Esports. Um, Is that your we domain? Got some stuff. You're going to claim that. Stuff talk <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm the one that's always right. You know, I was right about beast mode. I was right about mode. All right, I was right about Zen. Dude, I'm okay, right. look, you, okay, here's the thing. You're just you know, asking you, for and it. You listen. added a whole extra word. You, the, like the whole premise is to trim it down, single syllable mode. But you said the full name and then went back and corrected. Because I wanted to like, I wanted, wanted to, to troll. the masses before I started to troll. Like, going. Anyway, to troll. listen, and by the way, just going forward, if you guys ever see a clip of me saying that Gen G is the best team in North America, deep fake AI, please report it. Deep fake. Thank you. Um, anyway, <laughs> there's, there's a bunch of stuff that happened when you get where we were gone. Um, we did a major recap, but we haven't talked about it. First thing is our own tournament, Ooh. which all the teams have been announced for the league play. Ooh, right? That's right. Um, and Before so we, we have mass. six teams. We have six teams that will be going into it. There's a bunch of other ones that are going to be competing. I believe the seventh through 16th invited teams that will be playing in the play-in will join a bunch of other teams from an 128 team open qualifier. Um, but the teams that we will see for sure in the league play stage of the shift summer league in North That's America, we got direct a, invitations and yeah. accepted them. Yeah, these are these are we got some we got a banger some in bangers. North America. We've got G two, the reigning major champions, probably Good. the best team uh, in of, of the year this year, the best team of the season so far. We've got their primary rivals, Gen G Mobile One Racing. We've got Space Station, who have you know quickly made themselves a real contender to for a top eight top four internationally uh og who uh will be at the world championships as well and then two teams that will that aren't going to be at the world championship but were our na mainstays as well the shopify rebellion two-piece esports and rmc Reddles magic cheese formerly luminosity uh they will be playing as the sixth invited team so all top six teams in america oh, in the na will i hope be they change their minds and go with the peeps Okay, what, we, that's a whole other thing because I'm pretty sure that there's other people who have dibs on that. Okay, I think there's other people because Reddles joined before Gyro and Mist. Mm. And I assume one of them will probably be taking that name. Ah. Um. Because okay. Oh come on. Oh come on. He was not an original peep. You know. You know who the. Peep. You know who the actual rights to the peeps has. Jalen. That's Jalen. That's our shift. Jalen. <laughs> The ghost Jay, Jay CEO, Jayski made the made the logo. He did. But I feel like I feel like Emmy, he, Emmy he, Award winning Jalen, by the way. And Put Stanley Stanley Cup champion. Stanley, Stanley Cup champion. Stanley Cup Jay ring bear. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Um, come on. Anyway, uh, in Europe we have less top teams, but still a lot of really really good ones, and it's going to give I think Europe a chance to. Show that depth that we always talk about. Yeah. So we've and a got a chance for Oxygen to win it all, Odie. Yeah. Oxygen is the lone land qualifying team. Why won't I focus? Uh, that will be here. But we also have Jobless, formerly Moist, Ixo, uh, and Oli, I, I believe, will be competing with a new third on that one. Um, uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, Luna Galaxy. So I, I don't know who they'll be playing with, but I believe it's going to be probably most of the still same roster. Um, and then Resolve, Endpoint, and Team JJ Rocks, which is a new organization, I believe, that has invested right. in Team 3. So, uh, Mark by it and Stake. Uh, I don't know if they've confirmed their, confirmed their third yet, but I know those two players have been in the announcement. Um, so, yeah. That's right. And let me, let me just get this out of the way. If you've not been on Reddit or Twitter for the past week, you might be wondering where the other, you know, major level teams in EU. Uh, they have gotten invitations for it, but have rejected those invitations. The organizations decided not to participate. And yeah. that's and all no I'll hard say feeling. about it. Yeah, no hard the, feelings. The, not here. If if they want to explain themselves, they can. Yeah. I'm not, not gonna not stop big, them, yeah. but it's not I don't feel like it's my place or Shift's place to to go yeah. into that. That is just uh, the way uh, things are right now. And that means that uh, we have some other teams in Europe coming in. So it's going to yeah. be an exciting competition either way. Uh, but oh, yeah. if you want to see like the, the RLCS major contending teams, that's probably going to be more on the North American side. 
Uh, no one watches Europe anyway because it's a fringe <laughs> lame region. So it's all good. I mean, only one of those regions has Daniel. So, I mean, you know, please, please focus. Only um, one of those regions has me staying up till 5 a.m. Yeah. Because it starts at 7 p.m. for Europe in European time zone. And it also starts 7 p.m. in NA, in an NA time zone, which is... One keeping you up AM entertaining for me, so it's gonna run until like 5 p.m. It's it's midweek too, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So, uh, oh, yeah, you're gonna be all jacked up. Um, I'm, I'm it's my responsibility to make sure the interviews are coming in at the right moment, the, the broadcast is running somewhat okay. We have a little bit of moderation going on in, in the chat, you know, that kind of thing. But it is not my task. It is my responsibility. So if I can relinquish those tasks to other pl- people, it's just my responsibility that it needs to happen, not that I need to do it. Oh, so, I see what you're saying. You could delegate. I can delegate it. He's yeah. trying to like he's trying to get me to do it, but I'm not <laughs> gonna do it. So, like, no, nah, I'll, I'll probably still do it most of the time. But maybe I'll I can manage. If you to... call me, if you call me at late and you're like, I need you to do this, just know I'm not gonna. Because I have, I have <laughs> no, I'm not. You do have it. actually work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> anyway, maybe I, um, quickly, I can get a week of going to bed before five a.m. Let's go. Um, who? So I feel like, um, I want to talk about North America, but I feel like it would be kind of disingenuous to be like, which team is the favorite? Like the major champions who won four yeah. originals are the favorite. Yep, so, sure. which team are you most excited to see in a league play format? Because I feel like there are certain teams where yeah. I feel like it might it might be. Uh, more beneficial, other ones are more detrimental. Um, there's some teams that we haven't seen in a while. Who are you looking forward to watching in the uh, NA Shift Summer League? Just from these six invited teams. There'll be other teams as well, but just from these six invited teams. For, for North America, you mean, right? Yeah, yeah. I know what I know. my answer. Go it's ahead. OG. Nice. They are OGs. It's in the name. So if we're bringing back the league format, it is them that I'm interested in seeing. Okay. Because it's such a different format. Players like JNAPs know what's going on there. And I want to see them coming back into it. Because they've not been, you know, faced with uh, a format like this for multiple years. And now, even though we bring it back in a smaller capacity, so bring it back. And, you know, can they perform week after week? It's three weeks of league play and then a week of playoffs for the top six. I'm I'm really interested in in seeing a team like OG do well. Maybe, who knows? How about you? Udi? Um, I think it'll be interesting for OG because this kind of represents their last chance to get high level competitive reps in before the World Championship, yeah. and yeah. they clearly have some stuff to figure out. I mean, they've been they've convinced us twice in an online portion that they're like a contender for top eight, and then they've gone out one three both times. Um, so this is it. If they don't figure out what they're going to do. Like differently now on land, this like they're just gonna end up where they were is in in that lower round four. So I, I agree. Hoodie, what about you? Um I I'm excited to see Rebellion. I but uh, whether it's league play or whatever, I just I, I like I like Rebellion. I think that team is um an exciting one that I, I personally believe kind of underperformed. Um mm-hmm. At least consistency wise, you know, missing the missing the event, I think really put a damper on their season. We saw it with Carmen Corp um, and Moist, et cetera. So, you know, th- those kind of things, those kind of slips can can really hurt a team's potential long term um, in, in regards to RLCS. So I'm excited to see that. Uh, on the flip side, though, I, I am excited to see Luminosity. I think that's a team that is like heavily reliant on game planning. Mm-hmm. And obviously, that doesn't fare too well in, in Swiss. So, you know, one of the differences with league play is obviously you can see who you're going to play. You know what match is coming up. And I know that the Luminosity team with Greg and, and Kevbert, they do a lot of, you know, they do a lot of front loading as far That's as right. uh, strategy and, and game plan and stuff. So I'm, I'm interested to see how they fare as well. Yeah, I want to see them come out with kickoffs, with kind of certain passes, certain demo plays that are almost set pieces. Of course, a, a kickoff is always a set piece. Yeah. But I want to see them bringing out specific things that work against specific teams right um sorry i've just been completely i I wanted to make a joke about this i wanted to make sure i was confirming it so i've been looking somewhere else 
Speaking of league play, guess who played a prof- a competitive match? Yep. For actual money today, uh, there was a team with JNAPS on it, and there was a team with Lethemir on it. Talk about a throwback! There is a Canada Day event going on that I didn't know. I can't what? believe that I didn't I didn't know this Canada Day event and Team Ontario featuring Leth and Team Nova Scotia featuring uh, JNAPS made the grand final and uh, i just clicked over to see it i thought that's a perfect tie-in to to the league play we got jay naps and lethemir playing against each other in 2024 this is the best na year of all time yeah what year is it um anyway the team i'm looking forward to i'm looking forward to watch most is uh shopify rebellion because i think they're going to prove to everybody that they should be at the world championship um i'm arming the rebels i know i've been i've been in the rebels all year um but uh two piece uh, my dog, statistically the best player in North America this season. He was a better statistical player than First Killer. For the oh. fir- I think that's the first time that's happened in like three or four years. Yeah. Um, I, I I don't know if they're better at Rocket League than OG. I mean, I know that they couldn't beat OG in that moment, you know. But European fans are allowed to cope by saying that Falcons aren't actually better than Gentle Mage. They just like iced up that one time. It was close. I'm gonna say the same thing for Shopify and OG. Um. And I think they're going to prove to everyone that maybe even if they didn't make it further than OG, they would have been a more fun time on land because this team, I know we've talked about it before. They're all offense. They're all aggression. Um, and I think that actually works if they could have stuck to their play style. I guess we'll never know how they, how they would actually play on land, but if they could have stuck to their play style uh, on land, I think they would have beaten teams because I think, uh, I think that that sort of offensive game plan can often throw nervous teams off um and i think that that'll that'll happen that'll happen in the shift summer league i think people are going to remember how much fun it is to watch the rebels play and they're going to be sad that they won't be able to see them in uh in in fort worth in a couple Mm. i like that it's interesting that og and shopify rebellion are so close in the rlcs in terms of overall performance Mm -hmm. and we're looking forward to the, these teams the most, right? Yeah. Because those are the teams that should realistically be making it into that top six yeah. at the end of league play to go into the playoffs. Mm-hmm. But that's where they're really going to get tested. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. That last week. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. uh, the, at the start of August. Well, and in terms of Europe, like we mentioned, some of the top organizations in Europe chose not to compete. It is what it is. But we do get to see a lot of players that are still normally populating main events in Europe. And oh, Europe is an incredibly deep region, right? Maybe easily the deepest region in the world right now. Um, so for my question for you guys for the European leg of the Shift Summer League for these six, um, which team do you think will be the best? Is it easily Oxygen? Or do we think that there's another team that's been sneaking in? I would like to say easily oxygen, but I, I, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that uh, we're going to see some roster changes. I think a lot of times, especially early, you know, we've, we've dubbed it the honeymoon period. I think a lot of times mm-hmm. people are, players are excited to play with new players. They've just come off of maybe a, you know, a frustrating season. Um, you know, changing up that environment a lot of times can, can just provide some new energy, new life. And so I think, and, 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 hey, we've got JD Rocks, a new org you know, picking up a team, they're catching a paycheck. So um, anything can happen here. I mean, depending on who Luminos- uh, Luminosity, uh, Luna Galaxy is playing with, I think that's a very solid roster. I think that Resolve roster is very solid as well. Endpoint, um, I don't know what they're going to throw out there, but uh, every iteration of Endpoint seems to be like a kind of a sleeper team, an underdog team that will occasionally pop into those top eights and, and take down some of those top teams. So, I, hey, I mean, I would like to still I, there. I, I would, yeah. I would like Oxygen to, uh, to to run through things, but I don't think it's going to be super easy. Um, I think we're kind of all forgetting. And now, like I said, I don't know what the roster locks are. I think we're kind of forgetting about Luna Galaxy. They looked really good last time we saw they them. Did. They made the grand final in Europe. They lost to BDS, but everyone was losing to it's BDS. It's easily their best point. event. Yeah. And um, I don't know if they're going to be playing with the same roster. I would assume they are because... Uh, a chronic was sort of the piece they added and they're still playing under the Luna galaxy banner. So I feel like he's gotta be there. Right. I mean, I, that's just all speculation, but I mean, I feel like atomic is a player. Uh, EU atomic is a player that really would have like benefited from, um, 
really would have benefited from league play. Because I feel like he is like that sort of pop-off player that probably thrives when he has more time to prepare because he understands where he'll get his shots more as opposed to sort of like the Swiss up and down and running through a bracket. Um, and I, I don't know. I, I believe in this team a lot. I think if they didn't have a sort of a hiccup right in the middle of the split, that, that seemed to be due to some hours issues or whatever, they would have made the major. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to take Luna galaxy. I think Luna galaxy is going to be the best team of these six. I still think it should be oxygen. I, I agree with, with hoodie even though he's paid to say it it, it there's teams like luna galaxy would i think be the, the the first one to mention in teams that could really challenge oxygen um to that shift summer league victory but i, I think we shouldn't count out a team like jobless uh they're still here and then end point and resolve i like as a british derb derby but I don't really see them <laughs> going for, uh, you know, an overall win in, in Shift Summer League, but you never know. You never know. It, it is completely different to play not based on that momentum of right. playing match after match after match. You kind of come in cold, more or less. Of course, you've warmed mm-hmm. up, you've prepared, you've done much more preparation than you would usually do, hopefully, if they take it seriously, you know, actually look at what the other team brings to the table instead of just trying to play your own game because that's the only thing you can do in an open format like we've had in RLCS lately. So it is going to be completely different. But if you have the quality to bring it during those few matches, because yes, you're going to be playing a couple of matches every week, but it's nowhere near just the vast number of matches that they're used to playing nowadays. Mm-hmm. You have to perform in those matches. So the pressure is kind of on mm-hmm. uh, as well, even though it's not RLCS and it doesn't lead up to any lands at the moment. Maybe at some point, maybe... Uh, Wait a second. YouTube the theater, YouTube theater, maybe uh, next YouTube year, theater, potentially, YouTube, YouTube theater. YouTube, <laughs> can we? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, mean, nah, I, I don't know, but um, yeah, it, it's, it's a completely different system yeah, it is. that can benefit some teams that mm-hmm. can really also you know, cause disaster for teams who you'd expect to do well. But if they're not warmed up, if they're not coming in prepared for their opponents, I mean, they're gone, you know, they have to yeah. play the, the next week. But if they're not getting the points, you might even lose out on uh, on, on those top six for the playoffs. So and that's it's where a the money different is type made. of preparation, right? Because mm-hmm. I feel like in the open system, the preparation is making sure your mechanics are on point, making sure your team's on point and and having a play style that you feel really confident against any yeah. type of other play style because you yeah. don't know who you're going to play next. You need but in to this focus one, on yourself. In this one, it's like if if you don't, you know, let's say there's what, six days in between events. If you're not mm-hmm. doing two days against one matchup, two days against the next matchup, to the next one on replays, and the other team is, and they know you better than you know yourself, yeah. in yeah. a five-game series, it could be bam, bam, 2-0 yeah. because they prepped harder. And yeah. then you got to try to fight your way back. I yeah. mean, we've already seen it uh in london this time mm-hmm. g2 completely yeah. you know fumbled against falcons at first and seth you said that had more to do with them not showing up so they didn't really have to adjust to mm-hmm. falcons that much but once you're playing your own a game you can still adapt to another team right yeah and that's what yeah. g2 did they saw how uh, Falcons were, were approaching the game, how they were trying to challenge every ball, how they were trying to set up their own goals. Mm-hmm. And as soon as a team like G2, with the quality of G2, figures that out, you're done yeah. for. Yeah. It's you have to bring like, something new. It's almost like one of the hosts of Shiftcast predicted G2 to win, but predicted Falcons to beat them in the Swiss and said, I actually think them losing them in the Swiss would be an advantage. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, so let's move on. I don't remember that either. Uh, go back check the tape, check the tape. <laughs> thank you for watching this segment of the shift cast again you can catch the full episode here on our youtube channel or on spotify thank you for watching